Hi, this is Maya with Rico. This video is about how to make TIFF images in relativity for redactions. So you can see here, I am in the core reviewer interface. So to create a single TIFF image for redaction, we can select the generate images for this document icon. This icon works in conjunction with the option you've selected here in this dropdown, which is the imaging profile option. The options that we have are basic defaults. This will create TIFF images based on how your document is rendered within the viewer. And the native default options will create images based on specific native document settings, such as being able to show or hide hidden content in Microsoft documents. These can be configured in your imaging profile, and I'll show you that a little bit later. The last thing I want to point out about our imaging profiles is the difference between the native default and native default color. Native default color is going to automatically recognize when color exists in your document and create a color JPEG instead of a black and white TIFF. This option can be a tiny bit over-inclusive sometimes, so I recommend using that for documents that you can see have color within the viewer, or if you're going to use a mass action tool um, that I'll show you in a few minutes, you limit that subset to specific document extensions, such as PDFs that you know have color, um, image file types, and so forth. So for this one, I'm just going to select native defaults. I will select the generate images for this document button. And you can see now a new image radio button is going to appear when you click that button and your TIFF image will show up after the images are created within your viewer. Now, if you want to TIFF more than one document at a time, you have two options. The first is you can use the mass action tool at the bottom of any document list or saved search. So the first drop down is which items to use, um, which items to TIFF, in this case, any items that you've checked or all items in your list. Um, then you would select the image option in the blue drop down. We find our pop up. We select which imaging profile we want to use, and then we select OK. Now, this option won't show you automatically, um, you know, where you might have errors or any documents that didn't get TIFF for whatever reason. In which case, you can use the system generated field has images to filter for the documents that um, are pending, have errors, or no images after you've selected that option. So you can see here when I select that filter, we have 69 items that either um, I didn't include and need to be imaged, or if there are anything with errors, you'll be able to look at those documents and determine what the errors might be. Now, if you want a little more control over this process, we can use the imaging sets. Now, an imaging set is a tool in relativity that helps you control tiffing for a group of documents. This is especially good for large sets of documents that you want to tiff. So when you create your imaging set, you give it a name, you give it a data source, which is going to be a saved search that you create pointing to the documents you want to create tiff images for, and you give it an imaging profile. Now, once that's all set up, this console view is going to appear and it gives you your imaging status. Since I've already run this one, it gives me the, the completion time and stats and gives me the options here in this console panel under imaging sets, we can image the documents. Um, when you click on this, you have the option to hide the images for QC review. This actually secures the images from your review team and allows you to take a look at the documents to resolve any errors um, before you release them. And once you're done with your QC review, you can select the release images button. Um, you, if you don't check that option, you can also hide the images. Um, this button will be blue and you'll be able to interact with it that way as well. 
Now, if there are any errors and warnings, they will show up here and you'll be able to retry the errors um, once you make some changes to your um, imaging profile settings, for instance. So when you do encounter errors, you can navigate to your imaging profiles and you can take a look at your profile settings and make some adjustments. Some of the common ones are maybe the page size, the page orientation, and another common um, set of settings that I change are the spreadsheet settings to try and um, get my print area set up for specific documents, for example. So once you've made those changes, you can navigate back to your imaging sets and resolve those errors as well. So once you're done resolving the errors in the um, errors panel, you can release the images and your reviewers can start redacting. Another level of QC um, that you can go down is to just go into the document, take a look at it, and decide you know, what settings you might need to change for that specific record. You can also delete your images manually within the core reviewer interface. Here's an example of a record with an image. You can select the delete all images for this document icon and then create a new image for that record once you've updated your profile settings. So that's the crash course for how to create images in Relativity, individual images, bulk imaging either in the document viewer or by creating imaging set, even a little bit of QC review workflow. Um, Good luck with creating images and your redactions, and uh, happy review. Thanks for joining me today.